In this video series, I'm going to be taking a deep dive into the Opto packages for Node-RED. Specifically, this video covers how to install the different packages and how to configure them so they're ready to be used. In further videos, I'll go further into each individual node package and all the different nodes they include so that you understand how to use whatever you need for your application. Let's get started. Before we can even get into Node-RED, we first have to log in because I am running Node-RED locally on my Groove Epic. This is going to be essentially the same for a Groove Rio, but we're using the Epic Learning Center for today. And you'll note that we do have HTTPS to get into it. It's nice and protected. And we do have a username and password. So I'll put in my credentials and sign in. And from the Groove Manage homepage, we'll just select Node-RED and open the Node-RED editor. Here you can see I do have the first two packages already installed. I have Node-RED Contrib Pack and the Groove I.O. nodes. I'll be installing the Groove View nodes as well, so you see that process, and then we'll go through and configure them all. If you want more details about these different node packages, you can just bring open a tab and go to flows.nodered.org. Once you're on this page, you can just do a search for Opto up here in the search library. So we'll type that in. And if you sort it to just show the nodes and sort by the most downloads, you'll see ours right along the top here. So we do have the pack and Groove IO nodes that I've already installed. And we'll be installing right now the Contrib Groove nodes. This just gives you some extra details on them, as well as links to the source code and more. So let's get that node package installed. To do that, we'll just come up to the Manage palette up in the top menu, and we're going to come to this Install tab. Now, before you can install new modules, you will need a gateway to the internet, but since I've got that over my Ethernet connection here, I can go ahead and just type in Opto. And you can see here we have the Pack and Groove IO nodes, and we need to install this Contrib Groove. You'll note that the Groove I.O. nodes are used for the modules that are attached, and you'll reference them by their module uh, number and the index of the channel you're using, whereas the Groove nodes are used for the Groove View HMI. So we'll install those now, select Install, and you can view the log to make sure everything comes down properly. Uh, you'll see a couple of messages show up, and as long as you see a return code of zero at the end, you'll know that the nodes are added to the palette, and we'll check those out over on the left-hand side in the node palette in just a moment. There you can see we've added these nodes to the palette. We've got our return code of zero, and if we close out of this and scroll down to the bottom, we'll see there's all our opto nodes, and we now have the groove read and groove write nodes as well. So we'll just drag those in, and we're going to be configuring all of these. So let's start at the left with Node Red Contrib Pack. Now, if I double click this top pack read node, you can see that we need to add a new pack device. We don't put our uh, API key or any credentials directly here in the node, they're saved as a credential configuration. So you'll see that I have none set up, so I'll select the pencil icon and we're going to add it. And again, because I am running Node-RED on this device, I can just use the hostname localhost. And I'll need to provide the API key value. So let's head back to Groove Manage and get that set up now. If I come into my accounts, I can choose a uh, onboard user or an LDAP user. And if I select users, you can see we have plenty of uh, to select from here. But I'm going to add a new user specifically for Node-RED. That way, the API key is managed separately from any of my other applications. So I'll just select Add. We're going to give it the username Node-RED. And we'll just give it a quick password. Now, it is important when it comes to permissions exactly what you enable. Because I'm going to want to test the Groove.io nodes, the Groove.view nodes, as well as the Pack Control nodes, I'll need to have permissions for all of these. And the way to do that is to create a system-wide administrator. You'll see that gives me permission to absolutely everything, and that's what I need. So I'll go ahead and select Save. It's created this new user. And if I click that, we can see the API key at the bottom right here. So I'll just select that and copy it to my clipboard and come back to Node-RED. 
Here I just paste that secret API key value right here, and that'll be set up as my localhost configuration. So I'll hit add, you'll see that we're good to go, and when I click done, you'll see this red triangle disappear, showing that it has been correctly configured. So I'll just select done, and there we go. You can see it's now got the blue dot just showing that it's not deployed, uh, but it is correctly configured. And now where did that localhost host name and that API key value actually get saved? Well, let's check that out up here in the top right menu and we'll select configuration nodes. You can see now I have a pack device added, it's localhost and if I select the number one, you can see it's uh, just applied to this device details pack read node at the top here. So if I double click this, uh, this configuration node, you can see the configuration right here and I'm able to edit it uh, whether I have any instances of this node in or not. The other great thing about having this as a configuration node is I can now come to this pack write node or any other pack node and if I just select the drop down here, the localhost is saved for this node as well and it affects absolutely every pack uh, node that I have and I'm able to easily manage all the configuration through this configuration node. So that's how you set up the pack nodes, just really basic. Um, Groove IO nodes are very similar. If I double click one of these, you can see that we're going to add a new Groove IO device. I'll select the pencil icon and I'm going to paste in my API key here as well. It's the, the same API key. I'll go ahead and select add and click done. You can see we've got the blue dot, no red triangle, and we now have this Groove IO device Groove IO device for localhost. So that one's set up as well. I'll just apply this to all three of these nodes. And we're all set to go. You'll also note that the Groove IO nodes use the module index and channel index to reference the IO points. So this can be done whether you're running a pack control strategy or not. Whereas if you come over to the contrib pack nodes, they instead use uh, different data types. And if we select, for example, a digital input, uh, it's going to be requesting the tag name. So it must be configured and made public in your pack control strategy. We'll go over that more in a future video, just something to be aware of how these two packages are different. Finally, we do have the Groove nodes for Groove View. And this is going to have a sort of an extra step in the middle where we need to reference a Groove data store. So what does that mean and what does that look like? Let's, let's check that out before we configure this node. If I come back to the Groove Manage homepage and select Groove View, I'll open up Groove View and we can see I have this blank homepage right here. Um, so to get to our data store, I'm going to select Menu and switch to Build Mode. And you can see over here on my devices, I have a couple of options. One of them is Node Red that I'm going to be using in a future video, but let's set up a new device so we can see how this all works. If I select Configure Devices, you can see that this Node Red is in fact of the type Data Store, and we're going to add a new Data Store. So we'll just click Add New Device, select Data Store, and just give it the name Test for this video. We'll click Create, and here we have a Data Store right here. If I go Configure Tags, I can add anything I want. For example, I can have a hello, uh, and this can be a integer, decimal number, a boolean, or a string. We'll just keep it simple, have a hello string for, a, for example, a hello world message. We'll close this up. Um, you can see we've got our device here saved. We'll close, and here is the test data store device. And if I drop that down, you can see the hello tag right here. Now, when I come over to gadgets, I can drag in one of these, for example, a text box gadget. And when I select it, I can configure it to choose a tag and I can use that test hello tag and apply it to this particular gadget. And that's how we're going to sort of instantiate these data store tags. So when I click file, save all changes and switch to Groove view, there we've got our tag created. So that's a quick overview of how data stores work. Now, when I come over to Node Red, we can see that I'm adding a new data store, a Groove data store. We don't have any yet. I'm going to be adding that. When I select the pencil icon, you can see that we have to also associate that with a Groove project. So we'll go one layer deeper, select the pencil icon again, and here you can see is where the API key goes in. So the API key is held at the Groove project level, and then you can associate as many different data stores from that project as you need. So I'll again paste in my API key, 
I'm going to go ahead and click add. You can see that's created this new Groove project configuration node over here. It's currently associated with zero nodes, but we're going to associate it with this test data store. So we have our API key, our data store name, we'll select add. And then here's where we would put in the tag name, for example, hello. Uh, you can also read in tables. Today we're just doing uh, really basic, simple, single nodes. This one's just a string. I'll go ahead and select done. You can see now this Groove project is used once and it is used in this test data store. And this test data store is also saved and it's just associated with this hello Groove read node. So I can apply the same configuration, uh, this test data store to the write node, and now we have absolutely everything configured. If I go ahead and deploy, you'll see that, there we go, it's all working. We've got scanning here, we've got no errors coming up, uh, and we're all set to go. So that's just a quick overview of uh, how to go about installing the nodes, where you can learn more about them from flows.nodered.org, and how to configure each of them with your API key. What's great about having your API key managed separately is if for whatever reason that key became insecure, I can just come into accounts and users, I can select that node red user, and I'm able to either generate a new key or completely delete the user to then again make my system completely secure. So having a separate user is a really valuable feature that we have. Once you've configured all of these, you can use them to read and write your different strategy data, your IO data, as well as interact with your GrooveView HMI. We'll go into more of these in more details in the future videos in this series. And if you have any more questions, you can come over to our forums at forums.opto22.com, as well as check out our developer site that we'll have linked in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful and keep an eye out for future videos. Thanks for watching.